Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sam. Today, I'll be doing some more Gone Home. In the last episode, we made it up here. We found the creepy attic door there. Um, we went into those rooms, went into the guest room, went to Sam's room. We saw a lot of stuff last episode, so if you missed it, make sure to go check it out. You'll be pretty lost this episode. And we found out that she went to a show and lied to her parents that she was actually not going to a show. Weird. All right. So, in this episode, we're going to go in here. What is this? A very out of place room honestly I don't know why this is here uh, a chair oh opening the sewing the sewing table Wow that's really nice see the 90s were a much better time all right what's in here uh, wildlife he saved her from the raging flames and then things really heated up oh so it's a romance novel okay what else is there back here nothing okay what is this? Healthy choices, skills for health, healthier life? Healthful life. Oh, weird. Okay, I've never heard some, anybody say healthful life. What is this? Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage and it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Weird, mom and dad's closet right there. Oh my god, I've got to see this. We're skipping sixth. Okay. Secret passage marked on the map. And another cassette tape, Heaven to Betsy. And what does it say in this one? There's the track list. And don't look here. Oh, what does it say? I really want to see what it says. Uh, crap. Okay, come on. Oh, it's it's so hard to read it because it, it's. Can I? Damn it, it! It probably says something unimportant, but I still want to read it. By the way, this is the video, guys. It's just me spinning this uh, this case. Ah, no. Damn. Whatever. You know, forget it. I don't care that much. Actually, here, can we can we drop it on the other side? I'm, I'm really, really want to see it. I, I, I lied before. I really want to see it. No, we can't. All right, whatever. Let's just go. All right, so let's go see that secret passage. It's said in Mom and Dad's room. So, oh, yeah, we also explored that last episode. We did a lot last episode. Wow. All right, Mom and Dad's room right here. Perfect. Go back here. In the closet, they said, open panel right there. Wow. Nice. Look at that. Now that's a secret passage if I ever have ever seen one myself. Oh wow, look at all the old uh, newspapers as well. So this was Oscar's old uh, hideout. Alright, what does this say? Ghost Hunters, Sam and Lonnie's secret house investigation, log three. Hidden compartments found, three. Library, upstairs hall, foyer. Um, evidence of supernatural, discovered, zero. The searches continue. Alright, and it appears that there is a crucifix here. And that is actually an easter egg in this game. This is the only light in the entire game that burns out. Because when you look at the crucifix, for God, so lover of the world, he gave that the he gave his only son, it breaks out. It's a it's a little easter egg. Very, very creepy if you ask me. And this opens up in the library. Woo! This is interesting. Alright, uh, let's look at our map. Where do we want to go next? Um, Dad's office. There is a... Supposedly there's a secret passage in Dad's office. Or a secret compartment, they said. Uh, where is it? Uh, no, it should be in the library, actually. Yeah, so since this is here... So it should be over here. And in this corner somewhere. Oh, right there. Nice. What does it say? Uh, the Misfits, Saturday, October 29th. Special, plus special guest, um, the Maidenheads. All right. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. So it appears that Sam and Lonnie have more than just a friendship. 
Interesting. All right. Did we read this? Oh, no, we didn't. Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy, uh, best friend behind you, uh, in, at the back of you. Um, have and right back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha, and yes, I'm new. What's up? Um, just thought since you're new, you may, uh, you could use some friends. I don't have a lot of friends. Could you, uh, use a friend? I don't have, okay, you don't have, I don't have a lot of friends either, and so, uh, I thought let me, I'd ask something if you don't mind. Uh, no. No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Uh, was it just you, your uncle, who went psycho, or does it run in the family? Aw, oh, that's mean. That's really mean. Alright, well. Oh, well. Uh, Dad's office, there should be one right here. Ha! Good. Um, so, Heaven at the Edge of the World, The Green Glacier, Part 2. Um, Allegra and her scouting party peered down wearily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves at their... What does it say? But then from the vat, something began to emerge. A head of dark brown hair, just like the first mates, then the shoulder, and then the sleeves, and then the coat, soaking wet. But as the figure stood and the water poured, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, what he looked what looked back at her were the eyes and the face, the hair, and the hands, and the body of a woman still in the first mate's clothes, still the first mate. He, she spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain? The Amazonian queen said... She is one of us now. She is ours. Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistol from her belt and her crew readied their swords. Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, That's the love of my life and you can't have her. Huh. I wonder if she's talking about Lonnie in that story. Interesting. Oh. Uh. This is half of a... Oh, half of Sam's locker combo added to backpack. Sweet. Alright, we have half of her locker combination. Let's look at the map again, shall we? All right. So the last secret, pa the last secret compartment up a floor, is right there beside, or right across the hall from Sam's room. All right, we can go there. Up the stairs. Oh, I'm getting too old for this shit. That was a weird sound effect as well. Sounded like a one of those vacuum, uh, you know, those little vacuum robots that they have in Japan or whatever. Yeah, those. There it is. Perfect. Ouija board. There we go. That's the that's where you can get the messages from the uh, spirits, supposedly. I don't know if it works. I've never tried one. Be, I don't know. I, I probably wouldn't want to try one. They seem really creepy, but yeah, that's what they used to communicate with Oscar, which was the previous owner. Hello. Oh, this is their message here. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Oscar. What do you want to come back? Ooh, weird. Okay. What is this? Uh, that. I want that. Um, perfect, we got the other half of the combination. So, guess the next logical step is to open Sam's locker. What does this say? I want to read this. I haven't had that much to drink Jody Faster. Or, Jody Foster. How many fingers am I holding up? You better not have been reading my secret diary again. Uh, here you go, mins. Have some pate. Gross. Meow. Okay. Uh, what was the locker combination again? Let me check. Whoops. Uh, right here. 051. Zero. One, two, three, four, five. One. Open. Nice. It's open. All right. Perfect. What does this say? Lonnie 94. So that's what Lonnie looks like. Okay. Lonnie came over today. The basement key. Perfect. Everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think, but I said no, there was nothing wrong, I just wanted to say that I couldn't find the words, it felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad, she got up and sat next to me on the bed, I looked at her, Lonnie, do you think you could ever And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> yep, there's certainly more than a friendship going on there. Gosh, Sam, gentlemen. Special Shannon Tor Doherty. So she is lesbian, of course. As we already assumed. Um, as you can see by that magazine, that even proves the point further. Alright, so they are in love, I guess. Alright, that's cool. 
let's go to the basement now. Uh, there was nothing wrong. Added to that backpack. Cool. All right, let's go to the basement. So where is the basement? Let's check. Basement to the basement is way over there. All right, let's go over there. Uh, let's open it up, and then I think we'll explore it next episode, since the basement is a pretty big deal. There's a lot down there, so that'll take probably an entire episode itself, really. It takes a long time to explore that place. All right, as you can see there, every time around the corner, it looks like there's somebody there. I'm telling you. All right, good. Unlock. Here we are, basement. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you leave a like and subscribe, that much appreciated. The same for three likes on this video, as always. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh,